Oh, mamma mia. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo, what up? Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with a dirty party pie. As you can see, extra cheese, A. Eh? She's just a little store-bought something-something, but I added a shit ton of my own mozzarella to it to get this nice golden leoparding, it's called. So, technical term. Uh, underneath, there is pepperoni, and uh, I'm excited to go hammer on this. Hope everybody out there is doing good. Just a little, you know, what's up? How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Also, uh, real quick, holiday season, Christmas, presents right around the corner. Well... I decided I was going to do a new hoodie for merch. Uh, it's called the Hoodlum Hoodie. It's got little little dude in the balaclava looking hard as fuck. So it's kind of like a cool little design. Um, and I think they look pretty badass. I'm probably going to have to snake one for myself because obviously how am I going to have a product if I'm not going to wear it myself? You know, I got to believe in my own shit. So uh, those are going to go up right now on this video. Here's like a little preview of it right here or here or wherever. So you guys can have a look at it, see it. I did put some up on the community tab and people seem to like it. So um, yeah, it's going to be uh, on bonfire.com. It's going to take X amount of time. The, the, the reason why I want to do it right now is because if you order it, it'll take till around probably mid-December or Christmas to, to receive. So that's that. Um, and yeah, cop one if you want to be official on the hoodlum. And also maybe, yeah, like I, like I said, Christmas gift to yourself, to your hubby, to your friend, to your boyfriend, to your little sister. I don't know who, but uh, maybe to your dad. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, they are there for purchase if you'd like one. Uh, that being said, there has to be a minimum of five orders. So hopefully more than that happens because otherwise they won't get shipped out. And if that doesn't happen, then I wouldn't notify you guys. But I'm sure we can slang more than five of these guys. So anyways, I'm going to pull out my Michael Myers and get to slice in this guy. Deep incision. She likes it deep. While I'm doing this, I'll let you know that I'm going to tell you guys a fight story time. It's a little non-traditional of a fight story time. But it is a fight story time involving me to some degree. But it should still be entertaining nonetheless. Oh my god, I can't believe how much like force I have to use for this. Moving on to a bite of this, za, And then, of course, a story. Should we instantly go saucy on it? No, I want to try it just as is. Mm-hmm. Got a little cheese pull on there. That sauce looking nice. Close up for y'all. Hey. Isn't that crave worthy? Might have to make a t-shirt or a hoodie called with slave to the crave on it. Or just crave slave. It may go down. And I just washed this hoodie, and now I have to wash it again, because I just got cheesy sauce all over it. This is really good. The dough, nice and fluffy, kind of perfect. Not too thin, not too thick. Has a nice little chew to it. Let's try a little crust area. Well, good. All right, fight story. So as some of you know by now, growing up, I was a snowboarder. And so we were out at the ski hill one day and um, I 
like high school and shit, everybody out there's got their own little cliques. Certain people ride with certain people. And so we're all chilling one day. It was like, I don't know, mid-afternoon or late afternoon, kind of the day winding down. When people start having some drinks and shit. I was probably about 19 at this time. And there was this like crew of kids out there that were very like redneck hillbilly. And they loved to just like cause ruckus as much as they possibly could. They were always looking for trouble, always looking for a fight, just always trying to be tough and shit. Especially when after, like, we would be drinking. Like, there we'd have some beers. And these guys were, like, drunk all day as it was anyways. Like, they came there just to drink and, like, snowboard and stuff. Which, drinking and snowboarding is fun. Within reason. You don't want to get too fucked up. Otherwise, you fuck yourself up when you're snowboarding. But, um... So we're chilling. And this dude starts acting a fool. And he was, like, the main dude out of all of them that always wanted to start shit. But he was a very small guy, like, short... But, you know dudes that have that natural jacked, like they don't even have to work out, they just came out the womb, ready to put met people in a tomb, you know what I mean? Like, they're just naturally kind of ripped. That was this guy. And he was like a hyper problem child, like all that shit. So he starts acting up, trying to make problems and shit. And then there was a ski patrol guy that worked there. And he, like, stepped in and was like, like, hey, man, like, you got to chill out. Like, uh, none of this really needs to go down. Like, if you keep acting up, we're going to have to, like, kick you out and shit. And uh, the ski patrol guy... He was huge, like, like this guy's big, like giganticism, like six four, six five, like three hundred pounds, big guy. Take that in. And this dude, this little dude, of course, well, how do you think he's gonna respond? Drunk and aggro. He doesn't give a shit. He's like, I'll fucking scrap you right now and shit. I know you're wondering, how does the story involve you in fighting at all? And it does eventually. So this guy goes like full chimpanzee. Roy Ridge. And like... Like climbs up this guy, like puts him in a head choke and or like a neck choke from the back and like leans back. And like takes him down to the ground... Comes around, starts pounding on his face and shit. I'm just like, whoa, what the fuck? I was not expecting that outcome because this guy is huge and this guy is like, you know, crazy but small. So this guy is smashing this guy at this point. We're all just receiving front row tickets to a free UFC match, so... 
I'm just baked, drunk, and laughing. So the fight transpires. Whatever, whatever, whatever. These guys leave right after that because at that point it's time to go. And so that's that for that. I want to say like a year later. My buddy's having a house party. Like my good buddy. He lives just down the street from me. He's like my childhood friend. Like um, elementary school. And not even a house party. It's just like a pre-house jam before you go to the bar. And at this point, my boy is in university. And so I go to his house, and there's, like, my regular crew, and then some randoms that, like, my buddy has met along the way, like, like people in the university. So there's a mixed bag of people there, and out of... Out of them is the ski patrol dude that I saw get beat up hard. And I'm like, whoa. So we're all drinking and shit and talking. And I just went up and I talked to him. I'm like, yo, I saw you get fucking into a fight at, at uh, your work, a.k.a. like the ski hill and shit, that little guy and whatever. And I'm like, that was crazy. Like, I did not expect him to be able to, to be able to beat you up. Like, I'm like, that was nuts, man. Like, that was crazy. Just kind of speaking on it generally, like I wasn't like shoving in his face that like, I was like, oh, you got fucking handled by a little guy and you're so huge. Like, I wasn't being like that. I was just being like, that was crazy, man. That was a wild day. I can't believe that happened to you, like, or at all. And I can't believe that he was actually able to beat you up. That's wild. And he was seemingly okay with this dialogue at the time. So we keep partying a bit. Everything's all gravy. So we head to the bar, all uh, in like different cabs and whatever. But when you get to the bar, it's, you know, it's a small town. There's going to be, when you get there, there's always chunks of people that you know, like little groups that you know. So um, we're in the bar, I'm cruising around, floating around for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, just bouncing around, doing my thing, seeing what's up, seeing who's around. And then so I go to get a drink and I like put in my order for like a whiskey soda or whatever. Waiting at the bar. All of a sudden, one of the most confusing moments of my entire life. I'm all of a sudden being choked out from behind. I don't know who it is, can't breathe, and like, like, like fucking tight, choke me out tight, being choked out, kind of lifted off my feet, trying to like grab and tap or whatever, all of a sudden just fucking boom, I just get cranked across the face once, like with the choke hold, I'm like, what the fuck, and then one more time, just smash across the face, and I'm like, what the fuck, and like the choke hold lets go, and I break out. And I, at that moment, I just, my first instinct was like, run into crowd, like just dip into crowd and try to evade, like don't even stick around. So, cause it was so like, what the fuck? 
I couldn't see faces. It was dark. All dazed and confused from getting my fucking suckered twice. So I just dip into the crowd and I like take a moment. I think I got over to like near the bathroom or some shit. And I was just like taking a moment to like reflect on what just occurred. And I'm just like, what the fuck happened there? So I get my bearings about me. I go back out into like the uh, natural habitat of the club with all these fucking animals at this point. Because now I'm fully expected to get assaulted. And... um, Bouncer comes up, he's like, I saw that happen firsthand. He's like, those guys are fucking out of here. They're gone. They're done. They're like, he, the, those guys are immediately like were ejected. He's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, man, that was crazy. He's like, yeah, he's like, that was stupid. He's like, you got, you got fully like uh, ambush attacked at the bar. And I was like, yeah, man, what the fuck was that? He's like, he's like, I don't know. Like, do you know those guys? I'm like, I don't even know who did it. Like, I'm just, I just ran into the crowd. Like, I still don't know what happened. So he's like, well, whatever, man, like we got rid of them. They're gone. You're good. Everything's good. Like go about your night. So I'm like, cool. So on the outside of this bar, there's like a smoking patio. And uh, it, it's like not like it's like fenced in by like these like bar, like just like, you know, waist high like bars where you could like bar your bike up to. But like it's an open patio. There's not like, you know what I mean? So the people waiting in line to get in the club or whoever's out there, like outside of that is like out there chilling. And can just like, you can like talk to them from the smoking patio. So I go out for a smoke and it's that dude from the party, the dude who is like the, uh, was the ski patrol guy. Who got beat up. And another guy, his big buddy, same, like same height as him. That's why when I was getting choked out. I was getting lifted because the dude that she was choking me was super tall. And um, so I go for a smoke and, he, and they're like, they're like, did you like that or some shit? And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Those you like, what, man? Like, we were just partying together at my buddies. He's like, yeah, I didn't like how you were talking about that fight. I, don't, I didn't like your attitude about, about how uh, that fight about me out at the ski hill and shit. I was like, man, like, I wasn't dissing you. I was just talking about an event that happened in your life that I couldn't like I couldn't believe happened he's like yeah well if you want to finish this off come outside come out here come be on this fence and I'm like do you really think I'm gonna well a ruin my night like I'm here to have fun b do you really think alone after getting fucking ambushed suckered by you pussy ass bitch you like set up a hit on me in the club essentially you had to like get your buddy to do that you set up a sucker you waited till you got here. Do you think I'm really going to come out and try to fight you one-on-one Well, A, your buddy is with you, plus another couple floating around? Like, am I an idiot? Like, exactly how dumb do you think I am? And then he, he kept, like, chirping me from there, and I was just like, dude, you're a fucking loser. Just, you're kicked out. Go, like, live your life. Like, what the fuck? Like, I never even meant to, like, I wasn't ever hating on you or anything. So... I didn't obviously go fight him. Like, fuck that. Not being an idiot. And here's the thing, and here's what I want to say to people about fighting and stuff like that. Like, you have to choose your battles wisely. You have to make smart decisions. You can't run into things blindly and just, like, let rage control your decisions. When you do that, that's when you end up in the fucking hospital, jail, or the grave. So it's like, be smart, pick your battles. Don't jump into something where you know you could get gang beat. Like, just not smart. Also, if you're ever going to fight, just fucking fight man to man. Like, don't set up sucker attacks. I never like gang beat somebody because that's that's just weak and fucked. Like, so I didn't fight him. Fuck that. Like, whatever. And uh, I 
funnily enough, that same night would be the night. That's spicy on this hot sauce, and maybe this toque too. This toque's making me bring it down. Um, same night, I would meet my first serious girlfriend. Like I had girlfriends in the past, a little bit here and there, you know, like a month or whatever. But that night, I met my first serious girlfriend. of substantial time and uh that's a story for another video of course because at this point these three pieces are doing me in that's pretty hefty it's like i'd say these three pieces equate to like a medium big zaw big fluffy zaw So if you'd like to hear the first girlfriend story, the meeting of her and such and how it went down, let me know down below. I could maybe put that in the next video if you'd like. If you want it to say in the comments something to the effect of next video girlfriend story please or some shit like that um also i did a little poll on my community page about smash pass or marry and i'd be smash passing or marrying girls who do asmrs and mukbangs I think I'm going to do it. I want to do it. I think it'd be like pretty entertaining and kind of fun and whatever. Leave suggestions of girls, like certain channels that you'd like me to smash pass or marry. You know what I mean? All right, I can't go any further. That was good for me. I'm hot. Story's still over. And I need to edit this and upload and such, so. Until the next one, you know what to do. Everything I instructed you in this video, plus eat good, live well, and stay true. And don't sucker punch people or gang beat people, because that's lame. All right? Peace.